Congratulations to Preston Aldrich, the recipient of the 2023 Ethical Leadership Award. This award is given to a junior or senior in high school who exhibits high standards, has a consistent approach to excellence, has a student, is innovative, and demonstrates integrity, leadership, and service. I've had the wonderful opportunity to be one of Preston's teachers for the last two years. Despite being faced with obstacles, Preston has managed to master assistive technology to supersede any challenges that have been presented and has done so with great diligence. Preston is a classroom leader by showing respect and kindness to his peers and adults. Additionally, he offers to help struggling students, especially in woodshop class, with one even dramatically claiming that Preston saved his arm by coming to the rescue when he was using the saw. Preston laughed the, the statement off and humbly responded, the kid looked like he could use a little help. Outside of school, Preston works at the local cinema. His manager said he's one of the best employees. While managing a part-time job, being punctual with excellent attendance at school, showing perpetual consideration and respect to peers and adults, as well as being a classroom leader, Preston is nothing short of extraordinary. Congratulations, Preston Aldridge, this year's recipient of the Ethical Leadership Award. Hi, my name is Preston Aldrich, and I want to thank my teacher for nominating me for this award, and just I want to thank everybody that's helped me all, all of my years of high school, and I just want to thank my teacher for nominating me for this. Mrs. Stufis, you're awesome. She is the best teacher in the whole entire world. And she has just been so kind for, so kind to me in just the past two years. It's like I've, she's kind of like my mom in a way, because she's just so nice to me. And I've only known her for two years, but it's like that online, when we were online together, it just kind of connected us even more. So like what um, a four year high school student feels like, um, feels like at the end of high school with the teacher that they've connected really well with happened in like four months for me with her. And so I, she's just the greatest teacher and I'm grateful for her nominating me for this award. And I wanna say thanks for my mom, my dad, my brother and my sister. I couldn't be there without them. They've helped me so many times and my brother just one thing that he's done for me is he's gave me, he gave me more confidence in what I'm talking about and just, he's just been the, the stepping stones of my leadership. I think this is probably the best I've ever been in my whole entire life and just leadership and just being kind to everybody and generous and also knowing when to say no and when to be confident in what you're saying. And that's the important thing about being a leader is just to be confident in what you're saying. And I'm just grateful for my brother just to be right by my side, um, pushing me to actually be hanging out with his friends and getting more confident and talking to people and just in general because in ninth grade, I was the most quietest kid in the whole entire world, and it was just sad. It was very sad, and I wasn't confident at all, and my brother changed that. So I'm thankful for my brother, thankful for my sister, and just helping me with my dyslexia, and, and also my mom, because my mom helps me all the time, just with words and all that stuff. And I'm just grateful for that, and I'm grateful all, for all the teachers that has helped me that have helped me through the years of just high school and being by my side in the background of everything that I've been doing. I couldn't be anywhere where I am right now without those people um, being behind my back and just watching my back and understanding how my dyslexia works and how I can conquer it and succeed in life and just and in general, it's just in seed in general. And well, thank you for um, this award, guys. And 
I am grateful for everything you've given me and I'm grateful for all of my teachers and I can't wait to see what the future holds for me.